continuing on in Berlin. I have a couple of spots in Berlin that I'm stopping at. This is number two. This is my next one. This is the uh, Bethlehem Trading Post and Thrift Store, as you can see here. Uh, also on Main Street, a little further, about a mile or so from where I just left. And uh, you might not remember this. We don't see the outside of this, from what I remember. This is the, the thrift store that Saul Jimmy comes to to try to find something heavy that he can use to damage uh, Howard's car, which we see later on at the end of that episode. And he goes into here, you know, as you can as you remember in the scene, goes through a few different items. It's like a montage. It goes through these doors right through there. Uh, they're temporarily closed. They've been temporarily closed. I think they're permanently closed because Google says uh, this permanently closed, permanently closed, but um, this is temporarily closed. So anyway, he goes through those doors right there. And when he does, there's like a doorbell, there's like uh, bells right up top that they put the camera on. It's a cool shot. In there, eventually he finds bowling balls, right? This is the store that he gets the bowling balls that he uses to uh, throw over Howard's gate and damage his car. I wanted to go in, obviously, check it out, see if they had some bowling balls, maybe find the exact spot that he got the bowling balls, which I'm sure they were production props. But uh, it's closed. I thought I'd stop by being in Berlin anyway. That's pretty much it for this spot. The Bethlehem Trading Post in Berlin. My next stop is, uh, what's, his, what's his first name? Mr. Acker. I already forgot his first name. But uh, Mr. Acker's house. So in the show, it's in Tucumcari. But in real life, it's in Berlin. We're going to go there next. Pretty sure that's the sign. I'm pretty sure that's where the Mesa Verde sign was for the, the call center. And there's Thackers right there. All right, this is my last location in Berlin. And this is, uh, this is Mr. Acker's house. Um, I'm trying to see if somebody was home so I can ask permission to just be up in front of their yard taking pictures this is where the mesa verde call center um like opportunity employee employment opportunity sign would have been this is where the car is parked there's a lot of scenes filmed right here in this gravel area all of jimmy's little uh ways to stall the case and or stall the eviction the fence would have been right there characters going in and out um, Mesa Verde and their lawyers right here. They had it cleared out quite a bit. Um, it looks like it's, I don't know, like it's been grown more. The ground is, is more grown than it was I remember in the show. But a lot happened right here. Um, there's a car there, so I don't want to... I'm going to see if I can get somebody's attention before I start taking photos. It's so cool though, right there. All right, there you have it. Well, you didn't see that, but I uh, literally just talked to a uh, homeowner. She just walked right inside. Got clearance to take as many photos and video that I, I want. And uh, this is exciting. Wow. So what she just told me was that this was for sale during filming. So it, like, obviously it made it a lot easier for the production to use this. And they bought it after so they weren't living here she said her grandma or her aunt i can't remember already uh kind of let it go and i guess that's what she means with all of this um this obviously growth wasn't here um the fences that you see around 
the the property was production for the the show but this right here would have been wow <laughs> the uh the entrance where Kim comes uh, a couple of times to, to talk to Mr. Acker here. And, um, there's a, a gate and they do the, they have the stick and they put it through the hole here. And ah, that's so cool. Um, unhinge the lock and go through there. Or in Dwight, uh, I don't, don't, don't want to keep calling him Dwight Acker. I don't remember the first name. Mr. Acker comes out, he lets her in. Or didn't let her in, just basically says, May I come in? Tell you right where you at. So props a chair right there. And he's like, uh, pretty much say your piece. But one of the most memorable lines is, um, Can you do me a favor, will you? I'm going to spread my legs out like this. And, uh, just to finish it off, why don't you give me a swift kick at the balls? That's not necessary. Why don't you do me a favor? And uh, right between my legs, you know, kick me in the balls or something like that. It was hilarious. And then Kim, she gets, she rips into him here. And then she comes back, she tells a story about her childhood and uh, it doesn't work on him. Uh, and then, of course, Jimmy, he ends up getting to the door, puts his foot through the door, shows him that picture of the, um, <laughs> the guy. I'll just say the guy behind the horse. We'll just leave it at that. The man fucking a horse. Uh, to try to get, win him over as a client uh, against Mesa Verde. So, again, if you've seen the show, you already know all the plot points. But, uh, wow, this is really cool. So, I'm going to get some steals here. Uh, a few more other things that I want to do before I stop recording here is... Again, this is where the sign, the Mesa Verde sign would have been for the call center. Right there in the corner where my car is. And you had a bunch of uh, players in here, you know, digging, like an archaeologist, digging for different uh, Indian uh, artifacts, if you will. There is a scene with... Jimmy and Ack are working together with the lead coming out of their pant legs and just stalling the case, which was pretty brilliant. Uh, and, of course, the workers just trying to, to get the eviction going. But this growth, I do not remember any of this. It's crazy. And of course, the lot is a lot smaller in person. It's pretty standard when you can see a filming location. The, uh, the area is smaller in person than it looks on screen. So, uh, what else is there? I was able to kind of check out some screenshots. And what I've uh, put together is that the actual Tucumcari call center sign is not right there, but it was actually posted right there. You can see it. I'll bring in the screenshot right here. Jimmy Park's here. This is not there at the time. Jimmy Park's here. He's standing right here. He checks his watch. I'll show you the, the screenshot I've got here. And you can see, yeah, the call center sign is right there. He, Jimmy Park's here. And then, again, this is Acker's uh, house. You have the fencing here. Another shot that I just recreated was from behind the car. Jimmy Park's, again, along the fence. And you can see this post here, this light pole here. You can see the mountains. It's kind of like this angle. And then Jimmy is on this side of the car. And he's on the phone. You see the mountains in the background. You see the pole. You see the fence. And you don't see the house in the shot because the fence is uh, covering it. But uh, Or it's out of frame, actually. It's more like kind of like this. That's about the shot. Pole, Jimmy on the phone. And that's just the steam. I was able to find the exact spot where the... Or the the Tucum Carry Call Center huge uh, sign was. Actually, I was right the first time. It's approximately where this current uh, real estate sign is, but it would have been the angle is pretty much like like this. You can 
can see some of the road right here. The sign would have been on this uh, little piece of this corner land. You know, there's Packer's house. The sign would have been about right here. And the, the tell is you know, the mountains. So the mountains on the right side of the frame, like that. And you can see these mountains here. And uh, you can see the, the Mesa Verde cars. This, I don't think it's in the shot, but um, my angle could be slightly off, you know, different than what the movie, the show did, or, um, yeah, I'm thinking that's what it is, but I, this, is, this is close enough, they could have been over here, maybe got, kept this out of frame, yeah, like that, maybe tighter. So cool to be here. It's one of those where you just don't want to leave, you want to get it all. I did throw the drone up. I'm gonna show you that footage here. I tried to match the shot, the, their drone shot as much as possible, but there's an airport around here, the Berlin airport. And uh, so my flight um, altitude and distance from me is restricted because of that area. So I couldn't go as high as I wanted and I couldn't go as far out as I wanted to recreate the shot that we see on the show but it's it's i think it's good enough and it's cra it's crazy what digitally they did because this was probably filmed let's see we saw this at the beginning of 2020 it's definitely from the 2019 um so it's been two years uh thanks to covid and uh there's no way that this was in the show this is all sand it's all leveled and they digitally add these um concrete foundation plots to act as the um, his neighbors that that were cooperative and moved. Um, well, obviously none of that exists. So there's some digital work in the drone shot, quite a bit of it actually. But as for the growth, yeah, I'm going to say that this all sprouted out in the last two years, and at the time was was completely leveled, or there was probably some 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 uh, digitally. Um, removing of, of said growth to, to make it look like it's just sand but this is it one last look at Mr. Acker's house the address is uh, well I don't want to say it if you can read that then you can read that it's not my problem if you can but in the show I'm going to butcher this one. well I already forgot the street name but the, the, the in the show it's 1103 I believe 1103 or 1130. Can you make out the address on that? 1130 or Royal Vista? Your problem? Well, I mean, is that where we are? This is 1130 Royal Vista. This is 1240 Royal Vista. It's always been 1240 Royal Vista. And there's a whole scene with the whole the address being incorrect, kind of like uh, referencing back the whole. Uh, uh, 1216, 1261, I think in like season three. Wide shot. There we go. So cool, man. Ray Seahorn, right there. Bob Erdenkirk, right there. Well, it's time to move on. Sun is setting. Oh, and uh, one last thing. I'm going to need to make a call. She's gonna let me into the. Hold on. So what is this uh, again? So when you have the door open, okay. Um, there's like a 
a radio that he had when he was uh, talking to some, I guess. Uh, right, well, that's in there? Yeah, or? it's in the door. Okay, yeah. yeah. So let me just put the Jeep Sure, in. oh yeah, 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 I'm getting away. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't leave, I was just about to leave. I'm trying to remember what she's talking about. There's a radio, maybe like a communication device from within, yeah, from Acker's talking to to uh, Jimmy from within the door. I think I gotta rewatch the scene. It's uh, they have the door open at the time. Yeah. Okay. This one right here. He puts his foot right there. Yeah. Where here? Where? This one. You can see it. You can see it in there. In the movie, yeah. So was this used in the show? Or? Um, I know you could see it when he you was talking to the door. You can just see it. So this is a. It was so not cool. how they, they, didn't, they didn't show any. No, none of it. The it's just from the door that way. Yeah. Okay. So cool. Yeah, because okay, he's like right here, and then because they did so they did like actually come in here and film. Yeah. From here out. Yeah. Not like any of that. I don't think so. I yeah. Didn't see any of that. Yeah, and then. uh Saul puts his foot here. He's like, will you move your damn foot? Nothing you can say is going to change my mind. Now move your damn yeah. foot. Yeah, that's so cool. Wow. Thanks for thanks for this. I really appreciate it. You got it. Yeah. I just watched the episode on the way, right before I left here. What episode is it? I've been trying to look for it. So, uh, season five, episode yeah. three, is the first time we see this place. Yeah, that's the side of the house, right? Uh, the The... The blonde Kim and, and her Mesa Verde lawyers are out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're trying to get his attention. Yeah. He comes out and he doesn't let her in. He sits on the chair. Yeah, yeah right there. And then I think later on in that episode at night, she comes back. Yeah. And then it talks to him right here, actually. Oh, that's so cool. I'm remembering it as I'm here. Yeah. And then Jimmy, I don't remember that episode. It might be another one or two later. Yeah. He comes and he's like trying to get him as a. Yeah, lawyer. He's, he's talking to him and you can see that radio. I'm like, oh, that's yeah, radio. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so episode three, season five, it's not on Netflix yet, no. but uh, I had bought it on Prime. It was on Prime, yeah. so you can just, you can. I know we can see it. Uh, I don't know. We, we saw it though. Yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> this is it's such a good spot because they, well, the locate obviously the scouts found it because it's like in the middle of yeah, oh, the there's nothing there. around. Yeah. They had the sign of Tucum Carry over there. And, yeah, they did. Yeah. And then they, they made the, the, the lot look like empty it did. like was it was it was dirt in the show and now it's all grow uh, oh, yeah, uh, grow out, yeah. grow, the growth they, they our fence we had that fence but since they filmed here they took it off <laughs> yeah that was their fence right no the, our fence the wooden fence no that was theirs the, but the white fence all of that that we're missing over there that was because of them they took it off because they had to film and they didn't get it they didn't put it back well no they didn't put it back and someone stole it but. Someone stole it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's, it's okay, I guess. Why do you think they stole it? Because of the show? Uh, or? No, because it was an empty house. And, uh, oh. We were around a bunch of ranchers. So it was when did you guys buy it? In October two years ago. Okay, and they, they filmed it two years ago, but, but right before that. Yeah, right before. Wow. Yeah. Cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I had heard that they were they were filming in Berlin, and somebody tipped me off that it was gonna be, uh, Kim was going to be trying to evict some old man. I had yeah. no idea what they are talking about. Somewhere down there in Berlin, but... Yeah, they uh they earlier in March for the new season, yeah. they filmed at this um old abandoned hotel motel off of uh Maine, uh Mesa Inn. Do you remember? No. Yeah, it's not called that now, but because it's from here, so. oh, you're not. No, I'm from Vegas, but yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thanks a million again. Okay. You have a good night. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Look at these dudes crossing the road. Get out of the road, big guys. You're right, I can't pretend to understand what you're going through. 
I've never owned a house. My family never owned one either. We never owned anything. When I was little, my mother used to shake me awake in the middle of the night yelling, it was time to go. I'd throw my things in a cardboard box and run outside in my pajamas and bare feet. It was so cold. My, t my toes turned blue. If we'd had a house, I never would have wanted to leave.